Which you guys got another video here for you. In my previous video, I showed you how to block or allow applications from accessing the internet using Komodo. Now, in this one, we've got Windows 10. I'll show you how to block applications or allow applications using Windows Firewall that's built into Windows 10. Or you can use this method that's a firewall that's built into any other version of Windows. So let's get started. So first off we need to open up our uh, firewall that's built into Windows and we can do that from control panel. Well, so we're going to right click on the start button here and then go to control panel. Now once we get here we can uh, look for the firewall. So you can either go in this area, if you're looking at this area here you want to go system and security here and you can see your firewall but if you're looking in the category area of small or large icons here you just look for your firewall which is this one here so once we've got this open uh, we can now go to advanced settings now once we've got advanced settings open you'll see this window here and uh, you can see inbound and outbound rules so for instance if we want to block uh, the say outbound rules we can just go into outbound and on the right hand pane here you can see add a new rule so we're going to add a new rule in, inside here now once we've got this let me see if I can close these down behind me it won't allow me to do that okay there we go so let's have a look at what we can do here. If we want to block a program, you can see we've got the program radio button put in there. And you can see it says uh, action uh, and program and, and all these other profile name. We can go through these by clicking next. So all we need to do is select what we want to do. So for instance, in this case, it's a program. Go next. And then what you need to do is you don't want to do all programs you want to do a path for a program so let's just browse for a program now for argument's sake what you're looking for here is uh, to go to programs the programs folder so what I advise you to do here is that let's just go to the C drive and the programs folder so whether you're in 32-bit or 64-bit here we'll just do the 32-bit for now and say for instance I wanted to block this we can put this in just like so click open and now you can see the path is uh, put in there for that program go next the action is to allow allow the connection and you can see here allow the connection if it is secure and you can block the connection so we're going to block it go next and uh, as you can see here when does this rule apply and you can just leave all of these uh, ticked go next put your name in so we're going to call this something like take own just like so and inside here we're just going to put um, blocked and click finish and you can see here inside the outbound rules now we have take own and it's been blocked now to edit this you can just double click on this and you can then start to edit it on the fly as you can see here we can allow the connection if you wanted to do a, a temporary allow that to go through you can then put allow all the connections on this and if we did that you'll see it will suddenly change and it will put a green tick on it and if you want to block it you just put the block back in like so and also there's other bits and pieces inside here but we're not going to cover those in this video but you can basically set this up uh, and to authorize users and other people any exceptions so you can like skip this rule uh, for connections for these users and you can add a user and so on okay local user and you add them in there uh, and also you've got authorized users so authorized users would be the same thing you just add and so on and add that person in so we'll cover that in another video if you want to get a bit deeper into it but basically that's how you can block these so you can make changes to this as you wish but you can see here uh, this has now been blocked 
and that's basically how you can block the outbound rule and if you wanted to block the inbound rule you'd do exactly the same thing you would just go new rule and then you'd go through the same process so we just go through these very quickly and we're just going to light this one up here that's it go next uh, block all the connections so if you wanted to block them you would basically block block and then you put take own in like so and you put your description whatever you want and then click finish and that will be then listed here as you can see here okay I'm just going to quickly remove these and to delete them or disable the rule you can right click on them disable the rule or delete the rule that you've just created and it just by naming them it gives you that little bit of a easy way of finding it a little bit more easier way of finding the actual rule so I'm just going to quickly delete those but basically that's how you can allow and block applications from accessing the internet inside Windows 10 my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or any problems with computers or anything like that head over to the forum that's a place to go over there uh, also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page the information is on the screen thanks again for watching bye for now